which we wait. Come take the bread, come drink the cup, come share the Lord. to please pray for the President and First Lady for full recovery. As the weather turns cold, to pray for those who are without shelter. Our um, sexton, one half of the team of John and Teresa, Teresa laid to rest her father just last Monday. And we heard this morning that her mother is seriously ill and is not expected to make it in the next 24 hours. So please pray for Teresa and her family. Um, I ask you also to pray for the family and friends of Barbara Jones. Uh, Barbara was very close to Jim and Cindy and uh, passed away at 73. And um, it's just a, a, a huge hue and cry for this lovely woman uh, who meant so much to so many people and was really part of Jim and Cindy's family. I thank uh, Otto and Renee. Renee has been doing like quadruple duty. She is actually running the Facebook camera this morning and uh, she doesn't want any attention. Um, so Renee <laughs> is doing a great job and I'm very grateful to her. She's also beginning a project um, with porch singing to record the individual members of our choir. If you would respond to her if you haven't already so that we can have um, choral music back the way we love it, although um, I would never turn down anything sung by Renee by herself. Um, Otto set up the camera and uh, has, has made it possible to broadcast directly. This is our first day using it, so if you had problems, let me know. We'll get it right next time. Um, grateful to all of us um, who are not necessarily spring chickens, who are learning all kinds of new technology. Um, Joanne and Renee set the table for Worldwide Communion Sunday. Um, grateful, again, for all these women do. We're praying also for all those in the path of hurricanes, the 2020 hurricane season looks to be wrapping up to be uh, appropriate for 2020. And um, so anybody who is, you have, know we all have family probably in the line of that. We'll keep those people in our prayers. The California fires that have burned 4 million acres. Um, Armenia and Azerbaijan conflict that is going on right now. Um, all over the world, those without jobs due to COVID and other things. There's a lot that we can pray for, and I hope that those of you at home will send us a message about what we can be praying for for you. God holds all our burdens, and one of the things about the fruit of the Spirit being love is the way we are able to keep each other in prayer and sustain each other through difficult times. And I am very grateful for all the prayers in this church. This table belongs to the Lord. All are welcome here. In Christ, there is no east or west, in him, no north or south. As you gather at home, I hope that you have taken a moment to find a cup of something and a bit of bread or a cracker so that you can participate with us as we ask God to bless what he gives us. Your table is included in those blessings. God is not small. 
Let us come before the Lord with prayer. Almighty and gracious God, holy are you, and holy are the gifts that you give us. We thank you, O Lord, for coming to us over and over and over again, promising us that you have set a place for us, that there is room for us in your kingdom. When your people heard your word and turned from you, you did not relent, but chased after them with prophets, with priests, with moms and dads and grandparents, calling time and time again to return to the Lord. And finally, you sent your own son, Jesus Christ, who has redeemed us for all time, we thank you, Lord, for these gifts of bread and cup. And we thank you for the people of God which sustain us in our journey. We lift to you this morning, O Lord, Sandy, the President and First Lady, those who have no homes, Teresa and her family with the illness and failure of her mother, the family and friends of Barbara Jones, who we know is feasting with you in the kingdom. We lift to you, Lord, those whom we are tempted to be out of touch with because our own lives are a struggle right now. But please, O oh Lord, may your spirit intercede with sighs too deep for words for the people in the line of fire, of war, of hurricanes. We lift, O oh Lord, those without jobs and those trying to work jobs and homeschooling their kids. We lift to you teachers and all who are making life work for so many people during this strange time. We come before you praying as Jesus taught us saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. <coughs> Amen. Our Lord Jesus Christ, even on the night he was betrayed, he sat down with his friends, and taking the bread, he blessed it and broke it, saying, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. So too he took the cup after supper, and giving thanks, he blessed it and poured it out, saying, This is the new covenant in my blood, shed for the remission of sins. Do this in remembrance of me. Whenever we take this bread or drink from this cup, we proclaim the Lord's saving death until we come, until he comes again in glory. For those of you who are partaking, here in the church, the bread is contained in the bottom tab. The body of Christ, which is for us. cup of the new covenant. Drink of it, all of you. Whenever we eat of this bread or drink of this cup, we proclaim Christ's saving death until he comes again in glory. Let us come before him in prayer. 
great and glorious King. We thank you for sustaining us at your table, for giving us a foretaste of the kingdom, for reminding us that we are family all over the world. As we depart from this place, O oh Lord, keep us mindful of bearing good fruit and proclaiming your love to all we meet. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen. From this place in joy in the glory of the Lord and may the love of the Lord Father Son and Holy Spirit be with you all now and forever amen mm -hmm. 